Hey, fourth graders. Well, it's a new week, so that means a new lesson, and for everyone that's watching this has already tested on just the basic facts. All right, so now we're going to extended multiplication, and you can already see my, uh, my dog is already excited about this. So why don't we, uh, let's get going, all right, and let's learn something. All right, there's two things that I want you guys to remember. Okay, remember, multiplication is re repeated addition. All right, repeated addition, meaning seven times three is seven plus seven plus seven. Okay, and then also want you to make sure that you know your basic facts. Knowing your basic facts is going to help you along this process going into bigger number multiplication. All right, You're, we're extending the numbers, so um, knowing your basic facts is going to help you. Okay, that's the big one. Alright, let's get going. So, the first thing I'm going to show you, which this is what we're going to need our basic fact knowledge for, alright, is multiplying extended facts when they're multiples of 10, meaning they have zeros at the end. Okay, so when we're multiplying this, I'm going to start out, okay, 7 times 6. Well, 7 times 6 is 42. Everyone should know that from their basic facts. Now, when I start this, okay, and I see that there's a zero here, I can go ahead and take that zero off first and just do seven times six. Well, seven times six is 42. Now I can bring that zero over. So seven times 60 is 420. All right, does everyone here see how I did that? Let's go to the next one. I got 70 times 60, okay? When I see there are multiples of 10, all right, I can just take the zero off. I take that zero off, take that zero off. 7 times 6 is 42. Bring that zero over. Bring that zero over. So 70 times 60 is 4,200. All right, remember to put your comma every third place value. Okay, let's go down here. I got my multiples of 10. So I can take that zero off, take those two zeros off. Seven times six is 42. Bring those two zeros over. Bring that zero over. And then put a comma every third place value. So 70 times 600 is 42,000. All right, and same thing with this one, all right? I'm gonna take these zeros off. Okay, take those zeros off. Seven times six is 42. Bring these zeros back, those are three. Bring these two zeros, one, two. Put my commas every third place value. So 700 times 6,000 is 4,200,000. All right, does everyone get the pattern? Okay, if the equation has one zero in it, the product is gonna have one zero. If the equation has two zeros in it, the product will have two zeros, and so forth, all right? This is number one on your equation sheet, so I want you to write down the um, answers. Make sure it's organized so I can read it when I check it, all right? So if there's three zeros, there's three zeros in the product. If there's five zeros, there's five zeros in the product, all right? Keep that in mind. That's why I said we need to know our basic facts, okay? So let's move, let's move on. So let's go to this one. This is going to be number two. I will also want you to record all this. Okay? Four times five is twenty. All right. Take off the zero. Four times five is twenty. Add my zero. So that means my answer is two hundred. All right. Now some people might get confused because it's twenty, but just take off the zeros. All right. Four times five is twenty. Add my two zeros on it on at the end. All right. So this one is 4 times 500 means 500 plus 500 plus 500 plus 500. Well, that's 0 0 5 10 15 20. All right. So 4 times 500 is 2000. I'll we'll take off these zeros. 4 times 5 is 20. Add those two zeros. Add that zero. So 40 times 500 is 20,000. That should be a zero. And let's take off 
these, 400 times 500, 4 times 5 is 20, add my two zeros from here, add my two zeros from here, all right, and I should have put my place values every th three place value, put my comma every three place value, my answer is 200,000, all right. Is that hopefully everyone can see the pattern? Just take the zero off, four times five, and then add the zero on at the end. Okay, this one I wanted to make sure this one I, I gave because it already has a zero. Well, that zero is part of the 20, right? And then I add my one zero here. Okay, all right, this is number three. Nine times six is 54. 9 times 60, 54, add my 0, 540, 9 times 600 is 54, add my two zeros, alright, so I got 5,200, and then I got 90 times 60, I take my zeros off, 9 times 6 is 54, add my two zeros there, add my one zero here, and then I have 54,000. Okay, like I said before, basic facts are going to help you with this. All right, now this is the next one. This I want you guys to do on your own. Um, this is number four, and now you're going to do the rest by yourself. All these are number four, all right? All of them are number four. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five answers for number four four on your recording sheet. Alright, here's number five. Okay, you are gonna have one, two, three, four answers for number five. Here's number six. This is number six. You're gonna have one, two, three, four answers for number six. Basic facts. Know them. Alright, number seven. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five answers for number seven. Alright, here's just uh, going to help you out here. Okay, you're going to do eight times three, get that answer, divided by six. I'm going to put parentheses around here. Okay, do the problems in the parentheses first. So 8 times 3 is 24. Now you have 24 divided by 6. And then that's going to be your answer. Alright, same thing. Okay, you have 8 times 3 is 24 plus 6 equals, that's going to be that answer. Alright, same here. Okay, this is your next one. Do the ones in the parentheses first, then multiply. All right, and now who has the mustache? Dun 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 dun. And that's all, folks.